Yeah, I want to win this year. Um, for me, this is my first season back as a skipper. Uh, I've been a tactician for a long time, and for me to get back steering again, it's where I'm most comfortable. I'd love to win season one over Nathan Outridge, who's been steering his whole life. So it's uh, exciting for me to be in a good position, and hopefully we can finish it off. Do it for the gram. Take a bow. You've just won here in San Francisco. Oh, yeah! Look what we had to work with. You don't often see that group of guys that emotional. Yeah, we lost. Yeah. All day, everything was breaking, so we were just losing all day. I'm not taking anything away from the Aussies. They, they, they sailed better than us. Today, that's for sure, and they definitely deserve it to win that match race. And two wins from two. I mean, in Sydney, they clearly were the best team in the light wind, tricky sailing. Uh, here, they kind of have to feel like they stole one. Pickpocketed Nathan Aldridge. You know, as a feeling on board right now is we, we lost this event. We're better than that, and uh, we'll be better in New York. What we got, Tom? We have the press conference. And then uh, practice racing today. What do you think they're going to ask in here? Uh, I think they're going to ask if we're going to win this event. <laughs> like they do every time. They'll ask about my rivalry with Nathan Outridge, which they do every time. And then we're going to do the trophy. So you'll see that the trophy is up there. Now I know you're looking forward to this question. You've only been asked it 287 times before. This series is already building up an incredible rivalry between yourself and Nathan Outeridge. It's one that's been running for a long, long time though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, Nathan and I have been friends for 25 years. Uh, yeah, I was one of his groomsmen at his wedding. We were roommates at the Olympics, but uh, I've got to say for the first time, I'd say there's more friction than we've ever had. But like hearing them say that we didn't win the last event, they lost it, things like that, that pisses me off. To me, they're just making excuses. Uh, they could, you could say that about any event that's ever been done. But uh, we sailed better when it counted, and yeah, it's been a bit of a sore loser. We're, we just want to prove it now that we are a better team, and we're going to go on with it here. I mean, you're in a difficult situation, Nathan. You've led each regatta after the first day, and then Tom's stolen it from you on the second day. What are you going to do differently here? Well, we're going to stop that from happening. How? The biggest thing we learned in San Francisco is that it's not over till that last race is finished. And so, you know, we left San Francisco really disappointed. Um, I think we we closed the, the gap on the Australians after Sydney, um, but we didn't put them to bed. Um, we had some technical issues like everyone does with the boat. So we've gone over the boat really closely. We want to make sure that we have absolutely no excuses at this event. Yeah, I was thinking about the exit angle, you know, after we talked about it on the water, and it felt like if we came out closer to our angle, it was just a really slow build. Mm -hmm. It's a play-by-play -play thing. I think yeah. we've got to modify it for every single tack and every jibe, like the speed of the turn. I mean, we've found that in the past. If you just rip every turn, it's you're going to dig holes and stuff yeah. like that. Um, if we've got speed, there's no reason to rip the turn in a jibe. If we need to need to turn quick to, to keep on the foil, we do it. We've got a wheel lock up. The hardest part of the day, getting the boat out of the shed. But once we get this sorted, the rest of the day will be easy. We have activity. Lots of activity. Oh, we got a vessel. Look at this bad boy. They make these guys work. Look at this. Look, look. This is all the muscle. <laughs> it's the motor. The Rolls Royce. Can't get a lot of grip on this. Thing. The aim of the game is to manage the controllables. That's what New York's going to throw at us. Lots of uncontrollables, but we're going to stay calm. The wind doesn't care about your feelings, Sammy. So we've just got to sail the boat as fast as we can, don't we, Sammy? That's why I got this guy on board. Make sure we keep going fast. Speed man. Speed, speed, <laughs> speed man. Rocket man. Tommy, we've been asked to see sailing with this dog coming through. Copy. Lightning, Copy that. Turning up. 
Oh, bad kid choice. Should have run the dry suit. I can't believe we went lycra. You should know better. The only good bit is we talked Sam out of the wetsuit. <laughs> he had it half on and he's like, oh, I've been so happy I haven't had to watch the wind think we'll get this to this tent. Just be uh, really aware of shifts here, Ted. This, this is the first instalment for the kilo I just sold Kyle Langford. He's gone a little bit over target, eating a little too much chocolate in his time off. So he's a bit stressed about tomorrow's weigh-in. So uh, yeah, he's desperate. So sold him a kilo, 150 US dollars. Get half payment now, half payment if I deliver in the morning.